I was removed as a YouTube partner and that's actually kind of sad man for days I wasn't able to create I was wondering why no I actually know why and that's actually what I'll be sharing with you in this video but it's just kind of disheartening because I'm just coming back to YouTube and I was all excited to be you know benefiting from the monetization benefits but it's taken away so I was kind of upset but let me just get into it in this video I'm going to be sharing with you what is it that caused my YouTube partnership status to be removed and what got me to that point and honestly I'm creating this video for those of you who might have achieved YouTube partner status but you haven't been able to commit to your YouTube channel and you've been inactive and you're worried that your partner status might be removed because that's exactly what happened to me some of you were pretty curious how much I actually made as an inactive partner so I'll be sharing with you the exact amount of money that I was making from YouTube in my two years of becoming an inactive YouTube partner as well I would really appreciate it if you can watch the entire video because it will help me a lot as a YouTube creator but if you are really busy and you want to get straight to the point I would have the timestamp available in the description box below I will also be including all of the reference links that I mentioned for you to do more of your research as well. So, how did it all happen? On April 29, which is about a month and a half ago, I received an email from YouTube telling me that they noticed that I haven't been posting any content from a YouTube channel for a while now. We want to let you know that unless you meet the YPP, which is YouTube Partner Program, eligibility threshold in the next 30 days, we will disable monetization on Wendy Bus, which is my channel. After that, we will cancel your contract and you will need to reapply for YPP. And they went on to say that we understand that sometimes you need to take a break and we encourage you to take the time for a break as well. So um, if I have any questions, I can reach out to create a support and you know, when I was ready to make content again, I can visit YouTube creators for all the hacks to grow my channel and to build my community. Now my question at that time is if they are removing my monetization status because of inactivity then if I have already posted a video recently does that remove this status of mine that is under warning right so I wanted to just check like if I've posted this new video and I have new videos coming up will that like will this warning still be valid so I reached out and asked them and to my comfort the creative support person told me that she can confirm that my monetization status is still active the email that I have received is just a warning that my channel may be disabled from YouTube partner program but I was still concerned because I also know that at that point my total watch hours in the last 12 months has been way below 4,000 hours which is the minimum threshold to be eligible to be a YouTube partner so I asked her like will that still affect my YouTube partnership status because basically I didn't meet the threshold right and she reassured me that you won't lose monetization just because you drop below this threshold YouTube does reserve the right though to remove monetization from inactive channels at its discretion and, and inactive channels are channels that are not uploading or posting community posts for six months or so so I was under the impression that because I've been active and I won't lose monetization because I'm below the eligibility threshold that I was fine so I went on and I was excited to plan my next video but you know right at the 30 day point it was also the date that I was about to shoot my YouTube video I logged into my YouTube account and then I noticed this right which means that uh, my monetization status it's pretty much gone so I reached out to the creator support team for an explanation I, I told them about how I received the email and then there's an entire ping-pong conversation about how you know your team member actually told me that I wouldn't lose monetization but now I lost monetization I just need some explanation I just want to know why because I want to share with you guys as, as well like I want to share with my video viewers on um, what's exactly happening and this is what I learned number one I appreciate that the creative support team actually apologize to me and tell me that they have given me incorrect information from the previous conversation and number two they told me that just because I posted a new video recently 
that doesn't take away the fact that the gap between my last video which is on october 30th to my current video which is may 19th it's way beyond six months and and that's it like you know that means that i my account has been considered inactive and i also based on the email within the 30 days i didn't meet the eligibility threshold so my status is removed they also sent me many resources that mentioned about this policies about you know staying active and and how can I stay eligible as a YouTube partner, things like that. So I agree with the reason for them removing my status as a partner. And I also appreciated the fact that they actually apologized for the incorrect information given by the first creator support person. And to be completely honest, right, this customer support experience that I have is one of the best experience that I have talking to customer support from social media platforms. So yes, my YouTube partner status was removed, but I felt like I have a pleasant experience getting the support from creator support. And now the juicy part that a lot of you were asking me for, how much did I actually make from YouTube as an inactive partner in the last two years? Let me tell you something. Since I became a YouTube partner in October, 2019, up until when my YouTube partner status was removed at the end of May. In these two and a half years, I've only received two paychecks from YouTube. Yes, I know you've been seeing videos from the top creators about their monthly paychecks, talking about their income. That is because they got lots of money. And for small inactive creators like myself, because I didn't even meet the minimum threshold to get a paycheck the minimum threshold is a hundred dollars I don't meet them on a monthly basis so I've only received two paychecks throughout the entire 2.5 years that I was a YouTube partner and this is the exact amount that you can see right now I'm just scrolling through my screen on a monthly basis I was making less than ten dollars averaging between like seven dollars to eight dollars sometimes twelve dollars made a hundred and nine dollars in january 2021 and in november 2021 i made 97 dollars because six dollars had to go to the us for withholding tax so that's how much i made <laughs> the reason why i want to share this is because i want to let you know that if you are just counting this as your sole income then it could be quite risky i would consider youtube as an additional income stream for whatever main business that you are about to do or, or even to your 9 to 5 job until you feel secure enough for it because at the end of the day your income from YouTube is based on ad revenue and ad revenue is controlled a lot by the advertisers as well as the viewers so you don't have as much control as you'll be able to if you were to run your own business so that's what I can say don't expect too much from your YouTube paycheck. Work hard for it, but don't aim for this to be your sole income. All right, and if you want to take it to the next level, don't do it like me. Be an active YouTube partner, duh. And, and keep listening to your community. Listen to what they have to say to know what they want to see and, and what they like and keep building on that. I would be lying with you if I were to say that this entire thing of getting my youtube partner status removed doesn't affect me even though i was like letting it roll and just making super little passive income for myself it was quite disheartening considering the fact that i was already coming back to youtube i was already making my first video and one of the small reason that i came back is because i knew that this could be an additional income stream but i also know that the reason that youtube removed me as a partner it's a very fair deal like if i were to look at my total watch hour in the last 12 months it's fair that i wouldn't reward this person this employee that i have because they haven't been performing for me they haven't been working for me so i don't think it's an unfair treatment i think it's very fair and it's all me for not being active in the last two years but now i'm coming back all right so that's it for my video today be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I don't know when's the next time I'm going to be posting a video, but I'm aiming for a two-week gap right now. 
hopefully I can do that. I will see you in my video next week. Uh, no, 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 next week. Soon. I will see you in my video soon. Bye!